All right, it's a Saturday, it's rainy. Just got off my trainer at home. I'm sure you're probably stuck at home in quarantine. There's a little munchkin doing God knows what. Uh, but I wanted to talk about stash your cash right now. Uh, there's a few things I've been thinking about recession-proofing businesses. Episode number five uh, is what we're on. And so there's a few things I wanted to, uh, to share with you. Uh, but the first thing in recession-proof business number five is stashing your cash. Uh, there's a really interesting thing, two pieces that I've been thinking about. One's the domino effect. I'm sure you guys have heard of that in other ways. And the other one is the rubber band effect, which I'm still making up as I go. Uh, but the domino effect is that as your restaurants are closed and as your bars are closed, those people who are spending pull back. And then that hits over the next thing. So maybe they're not paying their rent and the landlord's not paying their inheritance to their children or something like that. But the domino effect hits everything. And a lot of times that's lagging. One thing I want to share with you at Sumo Group is that we've just cut our Facebook and Google spending immediately by around 30%. And the way that we're approaching it is that we'd rather stash our cash so no matter what happens, we can sustain and gain. I'm just on the cliches tonight, sustain and gain, whatever it is. So anyways, you really need to be thinking about, are you, sta are you stashing your cash? Because as the domino effect happens, it might come later and the business on the, your revenue impact might be lagging. The other thing I want you to think about is this rubber band effect. So right now, the government in all these different countries is trying all these different things. And who knows when there will be a recovery to this. And so the rubber band effect is that the government is pulling so hard on the rubber to say, all right, we're going to put in a bunch of money right now and hopefully that'll stimulate it. All right, don't worry about your going to the bank and getting cash, which I did. I went and got $5,000 cash today. And don't worry about your mortgages because we'll give you excuses on that. And don't worry about this because we're going to help you out with that. Let's Don't worry about bonds. And the government's doing that. So they've pulled this rubber band so tight. But the key problem right now is what you're experiencing and what I'm experiencing is that we're afraid. And because we're afraid, we're holding on to our rubber band and we're not willing to go and spend on ads as much as we used to. We're not willing to go and spend out on maybe newer shoes or newer socks. I know you guys love fucking socks out there, but we're saying, I'm just gonna keep wearing the same old you know, socks that I've been wearing uh, from time to time. So this depression, who knows how long it is? I think we're all a little crazy to think, oh, this depression, recession, this challenge, this influence, whatever we wanna be calling it, in session, a session, uh, might only be a month. The previous recession in 1929, the biggest one we've ever had in our lifetimes or in our generation of existence was 20 years. And so we're all assuming this is gonna be over in a month or in a week. You're fucking fooling yourself. And so it's not that there's not opportunities. I'm gonna put out a video of 10 business opportunities I've been seeing that I'm really impressed with, like someone starting an English teaching because they live abroad now and they're stuck. Uh, but the point I want you to think about is this could last a long time. So do you have the cash to last a long time? Because if you can sustain, you're going to gain. I'm sorry, I'm just doing it. Uh, so I want you to be thinking about that. I want you to think this could last a long time. Think about the domino effect and don't be in that way because it might happen to you. If you're the landlord, how are you going to get your place rented out? If you're an advertiser or you depend on advertising revenue, you're like you're a blogger, figure out how you're going to go sell new things or adapt. Like, are you going to do cookbooks for people at home? Are you going to be doing these workout routines like these little people? They're doing workout routines. There are a lot of opportunities out there. Uh, a few other things that I really want you to think about in recession-proof business number five, especially as a stash and cash uh, episode, uh, two things I want you to think about. One is the Andrew Chen effect. So if you don't know Andrew Chen, he's a VC from A16Z. This is not official with A16Z, but Andrew's a good friend and some of the things we've been talking about. In the 10 years, Andrew's been our advisor at AppSumo.com and Sumo.com and HallDrop.com. You should check it out. If you sell any products, go on HallDrop.com for free. You can promote your products now, especially if you've got extra inventory. And so Andrew, over the 10 years, has always been like, Noah, you're not aggressive enough. You're being a pussy. You're, you're not, he doesn't say bad words, but he's like, you need to go more. You need to be more womanly. You need to grow bigger. Um, and right now, Andrew is the first time in 10 years has ever said, you guys are going too aggressive. I think you need to be way more assumptive that the, this thing is going to last a long time. And I think in their company at Andreessen Horns, they're saying that it's going to be a 20 month uh, thing you need to hold off on cash for. You need cash for 20 months and can you live for 20 months right now in your cash? And if you can't, you need to go get prepared for that. Go drive for Amazon. Go start teaching people online, whatever the fuck you can do. Or go get out and get any work you can. And hold on to your cash, cut your bills. So Andrew Chen's saying it. I definitely started taking that really seriously. And what we've implemented in our company in, in this recession-proof uh, business, number five, we're not selling you anything, but what we're doing is that we're assuming our revenue is going to go down at least 40%. And we're still trying to keep at least between a 5% and a 15% profit margin. If your business went down 40% today, are you prepared? And I, who knows, our business might go down 70% or 90%. And we're going to have to make larger cuts and larger changes in our business. Or we're going to have to adapt and figure out where we can grow. The other thing I want to share 
Uh, I got I tell you, I got two things, but in our business, one of the things we're, we're trying to influence and encourage within the entire Sumo group is one company. So if you're working with anybody, if you're an employee, if you're the owner, it's gotta be one company and every single person in your business needs to be thinking, how can I get increase the revenue of this company and how can I decrease the cost? And a lot of people are like, oh, you know, no one's gonna spend, no one's gonna buy shoes. People are still spending money. You spent money this week. You bought food. You might have paid for rent. You might have paid for a game. Maybe you paid for some of your subscriptions. You probably haven't canceled your cell phone bill, have you? No, you still have that. You probably have your home internet bill. Maybe you've actually increased your home internet. So people are still spending no matter what. The question is, what are they spending on? And if it's not you, it's someone else. And the overall pockets, people are getting a little tighter. So you have to work harder and smarter to be able to actually grow your business during this time, which is what we're hoping to do. Because we believe, I believe personally, and our whole team believes that more people are gonna work from home, like I do a lot of the time, and more people now are gonna work online, doing more Zooms. And so how do we be positioned for that to help people learn and find the tools to do that as well, help people save money on all these overpriced products like MailChimp, ConvertKit, they're overpriced. You can get SendFox and other tools for a lifetime, for one price in AppSumo, and we're seeing people starting now to cut those bills because you're paying too much for things that you don't need to. And the last thing I want you to talk about is two words that matter, especially the most during this time. Two words. Lee, can you guess which two words? What? No, that wasn't. She said what? Can you guess the second word? No. So what and no. No, those aren't the two words. The two words that matter, especially the most in, in this recession, as things are going to be coming, are if and when. So I want you to be thinking about if things happen, this will happen. So you need to be prepared in your business. If this thing happens, I'm prepared. So are you prepared? And next is when. So the economy will recover. I will bet my life on that. It might not be in my lifetime, but it'll be in some lifetime. So when the economy recovers, where will you be? John Ross, Mitchell, whoever the hell is watching, David, Chris, I see you there. So when these things recover, when people start being scared, when restaurants take off their boarded windows, where are you gonna be? And so the when is gonna be really important that you can start doing things now. So if things change, are you ready? And when things recover, where will you be? Recession-proof your business, stash your cash, domino effect, it's gonna happen, man. And don't be on the lagging side of that domino effect. You don't wanna be the last one falling. Think about the rubber band effect. Government's putting in a lot, but we're still holding off, which means that your business might get held off, the ads might get held off, Things are going to be changed and you need to be adapting for it, not naive about it. Other things I said, if and when, Andrew Chen's word, no, Kagan word. Depression lasted 20 years. This has only been one month. Good luck out there. Love you guys.